we found some very unsavoury house guests on tonight's Road Traders. A team of carpet cleaners who tempt you with cheap deals, only to vacuum as much cash as possible out of your pocket. This one will sell to anyone he can, in any way he can, and he really does enjoy his work. Burst into tears, yeah. Sterile once he lost his watch. T20 off him. That stopped him from crying, mate. It's not there, is it? It's tough old world out there, mate. Oh my god! But yeah, you just bought some of the things that are comical sometimes. Yes, move over, Michael McIntyre. There's a new king of comedy. Tonight the joke's over, though. Keep watching, because there could be blood on the carpet. How long do you need? Jamie Oliver, well, his recipes have never really done it for me. I do like the hairy bikers, but if you're hungry for something served up by a couple of smooth bikers, hold on tight. Look at us. We are dressed to kill and moving like greased lightning. We sit astride 1,400cc of motoring menace, showered, shaved and smothered in deodorant, ready to hunt down our latest quarry. Yes, we are about to face the carpet cleaners. Are you serious? We're going to go through all this trouble to catch carpet cleaners? Yep. We should leave this one to Wani in the studio. Nah, she's got laminate flooring everywhere. She can't stand the dust. Anyway, these are no ordinary carpet cleaners. They are masters of the bait and switch. Master switches. And baiters. So what's that then? Well, Dan, let me explain. Bait and switch is a classic wheeze for selling goods and services of all kinds. First off, you get an attractive offer, like... A new motorcycle for 500 quid. Wow, you think that sounds great. But it turns out that the 500 quid bike is not all it might have been. Yeah. Too late. You've taken the bait. You're hooked in and a salesman is intent on focusing your attention on something at a much higher price. This works because you can feel duty bound to buy something. Especially if it's a persuasive salesperson. And it works so well, the government has made it illegal. Tonight's company doesn't sell motorbikes, they sell carpet cleaning services. But Enterprise Cleaning Services UK Limited of Wimborne in Dorset employ the same bait and switch technique. It all starts off with an offer of £8.99 to clean two carpets. They offer to clean furniture too, also for a low, low price. Alison Hughes of Limington in Hampshire wanted this sweet clean, so when a leaflet from Enterprise dropped through her door... I rang them and said, could they do two chairs? And they said, yes, as well as the sofa, for a small extra amount. Mrs Hughes had taken the bait, and when the Enterprise cleaner came to call, it was time for the switch. He said... Well, no, it's just a very second-rate cleaning system, but our chemicals are amazing. So I was intrigued, and I thought, well... If if I'm spending sort of 30 altogether, maybe a little more to have the chemicals. So I said, oh, how much are the chemicals? And he said, well, he said, oh, for so from one chair, it would be, be getting on for 350. I said, well, what? And then um, I said, well, the two chairs. And he said, well, 400. And I said, but, you know, why did you put a leaflet through the door at such an inexpensive price? And the price kept climbing. Mrs Hughes was also persuaded to pay £100 to protect her suite from new stains. It just evolved that suddenly to have this extra would be amazing and, you know, your furniture would be brand new or look brand new. I'm just absolutely almost ashamed of myself to think that you know, when he came, I was thinking, well, it would be 30, 35, and by the time an hour and a half had gone, I'd, I'd parted with literally 500 pounds. And I just thought, how did that happen? How indeed. But, Mrs Hughes, if only you were alone. You see, Enterprise Cleaning Services UK Limited is a booming business. They have five branches and say they have 90 employees. They also say they've made more than 26,000 house calls. Three quarters of the people they visit end up buying more than the 899 clean, which many of them initially signed up for. 
So it isn't just the gullible who fall for this technique, and if you've been had by it, you shouldn't feel ashamed or guilty. You see, bait and switch works big time. You get it? Yeah, I get it. There should be a law against this bait and swizzle thing. Well, you know what? There is. Prohibited Act Number Six of the Consumer Protection from Unfair Trading Regulations, 2008. He carries a copy everywhere. Yeah, well, somebody needs to know what they're talking about. Now the bit where we get a house and some secret cameras. Look at that, we've made sure it's got carpets, that's important. And there's an old lady to walk around on them. We've also got an expert, Mark Weston, commercial lawyer extraordinaire. He has seen the footage. And we have pre-taken the bait. I'm uh, interested in this um, deal you've got for 8 99 for two rooms. Okay. Now it's time for the Enterprise Masterclass. Three steps to sales success. Yeah, right, this is the room I want done, OK? Bait and switch step one. Get the more expensive product that you really want to sell in front of the client. What I'll do, I'll grab my machine, come in, put down two test patches for you. Oh, test patches? Yeah. Oh, nothing to worry about. Just see what, put down two levels of cleaning for you. Why two test patches unless you're planning to offer something over and above what you came there to actually sell. I'm going to do a, a deep clean and a maintenance clean, so you can I see, see the difference I between see. the two. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is the difference then? I don't... Maintenance clean, we just use the tool. With a deep clean, we use this, which is a preconditioner. Mm -hmm. It softens the pile of your carpet and starts to break the dirt mm. down. Why isn't he getting on with the service that he promised her? Sales pattern is fine, but this is going beyond that well beyond. What Enterprises man Chris Cooper has done is told us that for the 899 clean they don't even spray any shampoo on your carpet first. Funnily enough, he can offer a much more effective cleaning service this very day. It might just cost our old lady a little more than she was expecting. I've included that all in for you mm -hmm. for 16790. And if you're struggling with the maths that's more than 18 times the price they originally promised to clean her carpet for. Yes, Inflation is well and truly back. Time for our final visit to Enterprise Cleaning Services UK Limited, a company whose whole business seems to be based on a so-called bait-and-switch scheme, a scheme that means most customers buying a much more expensive service than the one advertised. We've seen how they behaved in our house, but we haven't witnessed what goes on in theirs until now. That's because our Molly, Frank, is just about to have an interview to become the company's latest carpet cleaning salesman. I'm Frank. Hi, Frank, how you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, alright. Well, I'll tell you what I do, I'll just briefly go through the business. Dorset branch manager Dean Grant tells him that the company gets its sales leads by advertising a carpet clean for eight ninety nine. Well, we know that. But he makes it very clear that this service won't clean a dirty carpet. On 899, the rare time that you do an 899, it's probably because the carpet's been down maybe six months. But the, the chances of you having a new carpet when you come into someone's house are very rare. Right, They've right. already told us on the call that they need the carpets cleaned. The fact he said the rare time you do it is one of the ingredients you need to prove a bait and switch in other words most of the time is expecting not to give the service that's been advertised for argument's sake if i went to your house and your carpet was 12 years old and i started doing a maintenance offer it may resurface deep dirt and right. then you're going to be left with a real so there you have it from the boss's mouth. The 899 service will make a carpet that needs to be cleaned look worse. What's more, Dean Grant explains that the deal is just to provide the bait in the company's bait and switch scheme. It's an 899 deal, and again, it would usually retail at about £40, but what we're doing as a new business, we're pumping it into people to get our foot through the door. And once they've got their foot through that door, they have to sell, because they're only paid on commission. And I'm going to show you what these boys earn on a right. daily basis. Right. You start off from 40% of that, because obviously we make your appointments and we supply you with the van and machine and what have you. Right. He's worked over a period of time where he's on 50% of that. His total for the week was 3,000 overall takings, yeah? He took home 1,500 quid. That's, and he, these boys are doing it week in, week out. Yeah. They're, doing, yeah. they're not, they're not, this is, these aren't flashing the pants. Putting salesmen on commission in that way 
is a classic ingredient to pressure selling. It incentivizes anybody selling to push the price up and up and make a sale at a higher price. Frank's got the job, and he's told that he'll have to shadow a carpet cleaning salesman until the weekend. Say, once you've got a Saturday out of the way, you can have a new van Monday and a right. license to print money. Absolutely brilliant. Perhaps it's that license to print money, or the fact that they're paid just by commission, but it's clear some enterprise employees will go a very long way to close a sale, Dean included. I was on a chat once, I walked in there, right round the corner, I was like, so he went, he just burst into tears, yeah. hysterical, he lost his voice, like, I'm just I'm a bit on a job, oh, yeah, right, yeah. Like, is that what you do when you're intrigued? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a weird, this is a horrible situation, yeah, yeah. so I said, I'll tell you what, I'll put me forward, I'll go, listen, mate, you sit down, relax, I'm a little bit of a four-year-old, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, I said that to him straight. I said, look, mate, if it's too much, you know what I mean? She saw your ass on your way. He was like, yeah. I'm going to be my foot tip. I'm going to be my foot tip. I'm going to be my foot tip. He's like, I'm going to be my foot tip. One of our wishes to get your carpets clean. I made carpets clean. He's like, yeah, but you never turned up. And I was like, ah. Yeah, it's really funny. Later, he pairs our mole Frank up with this man, Duncan Fraser, who will provide his initial training. Frank will shadow him for three days, then be expected to go out on the road alone. On the first day, Duncan explains what to do if a customer insists on the 899 clean they ordered. Depends on the job, it's a big 99 job. Yeah. In and out, mate. Yeah. In and out, and hoover the carpet, get it a bit wet. <laughs> off, you know what I mean? <laughs> During Frank's three days of training, Duncan Fraser called on eight householders who'd asked for the 899 clean. He sold more expensive services to six of them. He performed just one basic 899 clean and was asked to leave another house after he'd admitted that the cheap clean wouldn't work. Now, I wonder how he takes it. Well... <laughs> hey? What the f I mean, I went through all the f mate, you know what I mean? It's, that's a perfect example of... a time-wasting Or valued customer. We've seen a lot. It's time to hear from our lawyer. The 899 service is offered and then rubbished and dissed. That's classic bait and switch where a more expensive service is then offered. Now that's clearly company policy as we saw from that undercover video. They expect the service to be taken rarely. Potentially this kind of thing carries up to two years in jail and an unlimited fine if it's prosecuted to the full extent it can be. I'd be interested to see if that actually happens. Ooh, if I was in charge of Enterprise Cleaning Services UK, I'd be worried. But they refused to give us an interview. We have tracked down branch manager Dean for a chat at his local golf club. Hello, Dean. How you doing? Matt, all right? How you doing? You're BBC right? Road Traders, yeah. Oh, hang on a Enterprise mate. cleaning, isn't it? Hang yeah. on, mate. I'll just call you back, mate. Might be best. Yeah, about the bait and switch scam that you've been running on uh, for Enterprise Cleaning when you go into people's houses for the 8 99 but then sell up, as you say, to a much more expensive service that they hadn't anticipated. It's called bait and switch. It's outlawed now. <coughs> under Section 6 of the Consumer Protection Regulations 2008. Right, OK. What you'll have to do, mate, is obviously... Uh, we put it to you in with, writing. With, with, these, with these type of pressure tactics of your own, I think the best thing to do is, obviously, if you've got any complaints department... We put it to you in writing. Yeah, and then obviously... And we, you haven't come back to us. We'll That's why to, we're here. Again, so. I'm not a director of the company. I'm You're just a manager. manager. Yeah. You're a manager. What you do is you show a defective demo of the 899, so people aren't going to take it. As you say, it makes That's the carpet On the contrary dirty. to that 899, we've got a, a series of uh, 899s where people are actually happy with the service. Again, it's a maintenance offer that's due to be on carpets perhaps twice a year. Again, we've got proof of uh, customers that are absolutely delighted with that. But you've said that it doesn't work on carpets if they're not clean in the first place. It's only going to work on what, clean what carpets. We do, Who has their carpets do, cleaned if they're already yeah, clean? Yeah, if you let me finish there, like what we do when we go into the home, we do a brief analysis of the carpet. All depends on the condition of the carpet, basically. That gives us two things. Obviously, it tells us once how dirty the carpet is and, again, what sort of level of clean we can provide for the customer. Again, the customer's under no, no obligation. Again, what we're doing is just offering another service. If the carpets are, therefore, heavily dirty, 
again, we can offer other services that's on top of that clean. Nick. Come on, you know no, that's rubbish. What? It's not rubbish the service at all. clean that you offer Are you in the a first place. Cleaner? You yourself have said it's well, like ineffective. I, say, I don't really want to you get. You yourself have said it's ineffective. I, no, I haven't so said it's ineffective. What it's there to do is get you in the front door so you can sell up in a bait and switch. It's a classic bait and switch. Well, what I'm saying, we give the customer a fair. He call. seems to be quite happy with his company's sales tactics, but what about his own? How come then you said with such glee about the chap that you sold to after he'd lost his wife and you said this is what she would have wanted to have a carpet clean? No, he... The joy, the joy with which you told that story. One, one moment there, that might have been a bit of playground talk there. That gentleman actually requested me to stay and not once did I make fun of the fact that he was bereaved, okay? So let's just put that clear. I took T20 off him. That stops him from crying, mate. Job there, is it? It's a joy to size up. I'm quite confident that uh, the gentleman will, will know that he's done had a good job. And again, like I say, we had no complaints from him. Okay, if you don't mind, I have got an appointment to go to. It's okay. been interesting meeting you. Thank you, Dean. Enterprise carpet cleaning. It's carpet cleaning, Jim, but not as we know it. We should stress that the company we're featuring is Enterprise Cleaning Services UK Limited of Wimborne in Dorset, not to be confused with anyone else. They say they do not accept inappropriate behaviour or pressure selling. They take customer satisfaction very seriously and continue to strive for improvements in their procedures and service levels. They've written to the customer we featured to address her complaint, but no satisfactory explanation as to why they are baiting and switching and no photo of their boss Andrew Briers yet so for now it's his company's name that goes up in lights in our rogues gallery